Hi, uh, hi everyone, <laughs> Joe for Jaspi's Case, didn't know how to start the video. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com with a half case, fresh case of 2024 Bowman Chrome University football six box hobby edition random letter break number one. We're going first letter of their first name. It's a 19 spot break. All right, there's all the letters right there, plus combo, a couple combos. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. There are the letters right there. Let's roll it. Randomize names and letters. Three and a four. Seven times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, Nate down to Eric. And three and a four. Seven times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. B down to A. All right, so Nate with B, Jesson with T, Tristan with J, Kevin with E, Tristan with M, and S, Rick with K, Stephen K with R, Last Spot Mojo, Nathan, hi, Tristan with Q, X, and all other letters not listed. Tristan, you also have C and D, Nick T with L and G, Tristan O, N, Nate with P, Tristan with W and Eric with A. All right, so let's order these numerically, or numerically, alphabetically. And we're going to pause the video just for a second. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. So stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done. So, oh, I forgot to, got to make it official. TWC in the chat should appear right there. Boop, there it is. Trade window closed. TWC, six box hobby, second half in the store right now. I think we've got time to run it back. So here is Bowman Chrome University hobby. From a fresh case. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six on the left side, and then six on this right side, right over here. We'll keep those on the card. We'll roll it, randomize it. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. It's all the way over there. And it's one. So the left side right here. All right, this side, I guess I could have put this all on the table here, but this side, we'll, uh, we'll make some Wolverine slash marks there so you know it's from the same case. All right, two autos a box. Away we go. I'm not well versed in the collegiate world, so hopefully everybody's at the live point of the stream and uh, and watching and are able to tell me if uh, one of these autographs we pull are they a legit player or not, or someone we should look out for maybe in the upcoming college football playoffs. It, so from what little I do know, they're, they're expanded playoffs now. We've got, instead of the final four teams, 
Are there 12 teams now? Yes, there's 12 teams. So there's a first round, quarterfinals, semifinals, and then the national championship. Now, why do some teams have a bye? Oh, it looks like one, two, three, four have a bye. So if you're in the top four, you have a bye. So Oregon's one. Oregon's one. Texas is two. University of Miami, the U is three. And Boise, St Boise State is four. So they're automatically in the quarterfinals. Uh, for now, I think. Actually, we have one more week, right? And then, like, I guess some of that could change. I guess there are bubble teams that we'd have to watch. Maybe the top four are interchangeable. I don't know. Maybe Boise State's on the on the buy bubble. We got one more week, right? I think we one more week of college football this weekend, and then that's it. So yeah, it'll be interesting. So as it stands now, Oregon is one, Texas is two. University of Miami is three. Boise State is four. And all cards ship. And there's Eugene Asante, 107 out of 199. Okay, so thanks, Nate. One more week. You're hoping someone ahead of Tennessee loses. And even if they move up one spot, that game would be at home. Right, I'm looking at the bracket right now on ESPN. Tennessee's at 9. So even if they go to 8, that would suddenly turn into a home game, which definitely make, would make life a lot easier. Uh, Joquavis Marks, 236 out of 275. Aqua Mini Diamonds. That will be for letter J. That'll be for Tristan. Eugene goes to letter E. That's for Kevin. We got Braden Fowler Nic uh, Nicolosi. Shimmer to 75. Colorado State. That'll be for Nate, letter B. There's Jackson Start right there. He's been having a nice season. Nick Singleton, Penn State running back. It's going to go to Tristan and the letter N. And there's Bryson Barnes, 286 out of 299, letter B, going to Nate. Got Pat Bryant, uh, that's 16 out of 399, Nate with the letter P, and that is box one. box here. Now, Nate, you seem like you're a college sports guy. Do we like this expanded? Do we like this expanded playoff format? I kind of do. As a casual. Seems like an opportunity for more teams to get in. Which uh, has to make more schools happy if they're in the mix. I would imagine there's a little more variance now just because 
slightly more difficult just because there's more teams to beat on the way to a national championship. Obviously, the buy is significant. That's going to help those teams. So as it stands now, once again, Oregon is currently one as of Wednesday, November 27, 2024. Uh, Oregon one, Texas two, Miami three, Boise State four. Ohio State 5, Penn State 6, Notre Dame 7, Georgia 8, Tennessee 9, SMU, Mustang 10, Indiana 11, and Arizona State 12. Nate says, I do. I don't like the conference champs going straight to the top four. Okay, so that's why they're... Okay, that makes sense. I was like, why is... But conference champs straight to the top four, because I... yeah, that's what I was thinking about Boise State. I was like, Boise State's not four. But it's just because they're conference champions. They're actually ranked 10 or 11. But they'll get seeded four because they're a conference champ as of now. Interesting. Think they'll change that? Or you think they're gonna they're gonna try to reward conference winners? Wait, but there's more than four conferences. So how does that work? But yeah, but you like the expansion overall, as do I. Maybe, maybe, maybe some tweaks here. All right, C.J. Baxter, the auto popping early. That's gold to twenty-five uh, to fifty. That is twenty out of fifty. That will be for Tristan, let her see. I'll do a little recap at the end of this video as well. If you're re-watching the video, you can fast forward to the end. And here's the second auto, Matthew Golden, letter M. So two, uh, two Texas players here. Letter M is for Tristan. There's Iowa Day, 24 out of 299. Now we're looking for any numbered or low numbered stuff. Eric with letter A. James Pierce, purple shimmer, not numbered. We got Austin Mack, Alabama, 95 out of 375 purple mini diamonds. Austin Mack. Oh, I get it. So, oh, it's the power con. Okay, duh, that makes sense. Forgot about those. There's a power five, so the best four ranked conference champs gets one through four, and then fifth gets an auto bid into the playoffs. Got it. Something like that. There's Dalen Everett, 26 out of 125, letter D, that's for Tristan. All right, fair enough. All right, that's interesting. So they are trying to, trying to keep those, I guess they're trying to keep conference champion, or winning a conference championship relevant. Trying to reward people for that. It makes sense. But I can see how that's a little annoying. <laughs> All right, next auto. Because, yeah, you're right. That does make a weird, sometimes in, in odd situations where, like, Boise State would, would get the four seed, but they're actually ranked maybe 10 or 11th overall. It's a little misleading. Now, what's the future plan? Are, are they planning to go 
um, for more than 12 teams? Could they expand it beyond that? I feel like even the NFL is, at most, it'd be wild card, division, conference, and then Super Bowl, right? I feel like they wouldn't have more than more than four rounds. That might be a little too much. Amazing. There's been talk of 16, but it'd be a couple years at least. Put my money on a, on the Power Five or maybe a couple conferences breaking away from the NCAA. All right. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like what before it was just four, right? It would be like, be like one round, and then we dive right into the national championship. I felt like that was too short. Maybe 12 is a nice is a nice sweet spot for college. There's Jordan James. Oregon running back, 146 out of 299. That is for Tristan. And there's Baishul Tootin from Virginia Tech, 288 out of 299. Nate with the letter B. Matthew Golden to 399, that's for letter M, Tristan. There's Ethan Burke, one. 67 out of 275. Kind of hard to see the numbers with the mini diamond pattern back there. Letter E, that's for Kevin. Here's Jackson Arnold, 114 out of 175. My uh, my aunt went to Oklahoma. I think there's a there's a refrigerator picture of of a uh, of a young Joe in an in a OU sweater. DJ Ujulele. And three more boxes to go. So where are we? We're about 20 minutes in on the video, so we got about another 15, 20 minutes to go. How are we doing on orders? We got a few orders coming in from Matthew and Kevin. But that last order I got was about 20, 25 minutes ago. We haven't seen any since. Another Bowman Chrome U. The second half is down to 18 of 19 spots. The division break is down to five. And then we got one taker in the filler for Mosaic Picker Team 2. So we had a nice flurry of orders. We had a nice, uh, nice little second and third quarter. 
Got a flurry of orders and a flurry of breaks happening. Maybe people have completed their holiday travel and we're checking in with Jaskies and getting to new releases. We appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, we're in the second, or we're in the fourth quarter of the show now. We've got about an hour and a half left in the show, 30 minutes in the, into the fourth quarter. What do we want to do? It's late night rally time. Maybe another division break would be fun. That could be easy. We could run that back a few times before the night is out. Or we can do something a little uh, heftier, like the um, like the Mosaic Pigger Team 2 filler. So buy one, get one. $24.99 gets you two spots. It's an eight-team giveaway, including the Patriots. So it would be Drake May hunting. Twelve teams at it, sorry. Top 12 will get teams. The top team, I think, is still New England. And that unlocks four box pick your team number two. Didn't see anything too significant in the uh, first four boxes. Maybe the second, third, we'll see something interesting. That's the plan, anyway. We hope. Only one way to find out. All right, another box. Here we go. There's Riley Leonard for Notre Dame. All the, all the autos were on this side last time, right? Should we go this side first? There's Seth Hennigan for Memphis, 70 out of 99. My Raiders, of course, should have, if they don't, mess it up. They should have a top three pick. And I'm sure they'll be looking for a quarterback. Who knows? I'll, pret I'll pretend to become a college quarterback expert around draft time. Oh, the auto's on this side now. James Pierce, Tristan, letter J. I'm sure there'll be quarterbacks that were not talked about being first round picks, end up being hyped up into first round picks. That happens almost every year. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All the Raiders fan. See now the two autos are on this side. To Colby George, another letter J for Tristan. A lot of Raiders fan fan blogs are saying saying Shadur Sanders. There's Luke Lakey, three sixteen out of three seventy five. They're going Shadur. And hire Coach Prime as the as the head coach. A lot of people not happy with Antonio Pierce. Eugene Wilson, seventy two out of one fifty. I think this is probably like an old Bowman design, right? Maybe nineteen fifty five Bowman. I like that old school look though. I wonder if Walter Football has a mock draft up, they do. They 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 have they have the Raiders mocked at number one in a way too early mock draft, and they're saying Shador Sanders. As bad as the Raiders are looking today, they've been a little unlucky with injuries, which you know is no excuse, but it's true. They're, they're a little unlucky with injuries. Um, they haven't been able to build depth because they've had such poor drafts multiple years in a row, and and uh, they've they've switched coaches and 
many times. They switched offensive coordinator number of times. They really haven't been able to get any consistency going, but but we've seen how a quarterback can still change the outlook of a franchise. You know, I feel like New England's feeling a lot more optimistic and all that sort of stuff, but we'll see. Raiders do have a lot of cap space. So they could have an interesting offseason. They can try to buy some depth and draft some some franchise-changing youngsters. Paul, what's going on? Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Tuning in for fun. Any Tyler Warren from Penn State in the set? I don't know. Nate's not... Oh, I was just going to look at the checklist, but Nate got you. Thanks, Nate. He does not, does not see him on the checklist. I'll do an autograph recap at the end as well, so you'll be able to see... Uh, what autos we've pulled. Oh, I think this is the Florida quarterback that I was thinking of, Cam Ward from Miami. So Walter Football hasn't mocked it too, if, if the Giants are at two. I think Travis Hunter from Colorado State can really play both ways, corner and wide receiver. I suppose they could. He doesn't have to play every snap. So, so I suppose if they manage the snap counts, he would be able to do both. But man, he, he, he's a very interesting player. Where's the next quarterback? Quinn Ewers, possibly to the Titans. Could be interesting. Jalen Milrow to... To Cleveland is the is the Deshaun Watson experiment over. So those are a few of the the quarterbacks in the top half of the draft. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the uh, yeah the Miami QB. Nate hasn't watched much, but looked great from what you've seen. Is Dion Walker for Kentucky? I think what would the Raiders do after that? Maybe draft a, a wide receiver in the second round, perhaps. And then just go, you know, just go defense, offensive line, defense, 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 defense. We got a uh, Arizona State's Cameron Scadaboo, 123 out of 199. Got Oscar Delt to 175. You got Treshawn Ward, Boston College. Khalil Barnes, purple mini diamonds to one to three seventy five. That is. And we got Reuben Bain Jr. Twenty seven out of fifty gold shimmer autograph for uh, Stephen K. Letter R. Last spot mojo. And there's, speaking of Colorado right there, Paul's saying, I don't think Travis Hunter is doing himself any favors by playing both ways. Yeah, that's quite a, I mean, maybe this is the, is this the Shohei Otani effect? We got guys thinking maybe I can do defense and offense. Maybe in college, but when every NFL player is the best college player, that's a different animal. Even the best corners or the best receivers out of college still struggle a little bit within the first season or two of the NFL. That's definitely, but if you're drafting him that high, or if this guy has him drafted that high, you got to think they're drafting him high to play him, not to not to marinate, not to develop, right? It'll be interesting to see. 
Maybe he'll try it a season, and then maybe the team's like, listen, you got to pick one. But it would be interesting to see. Rex is saying, so obviously Dodgers-Cubs play each other in Tokyo next spring. That's right. You find out they'd be playing the Yomi Yuri Giants before the game. Dodgers first, then Cubs the next day. Okay. I think they did that in Korea last year. They, they yeah, got to play like a warm-up game. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what Travis Hunter does. I do like Walter. If you don't, remember, if not familiar with Walter football, Google it. But it's just a sort of an alternate, alternate sort of a draft guy, NFL draft guy. A little bit different from the usual talking heads we see on TV. He's, he's saying he's an elite talent at both corner and receiver. He's got incredible athleticism plus the size. Yeah, that might, if he's too small, maybe maybe that definitely doesn't work, right? But if you got size, you can handle the rigors of the uh, of the NFL. But that's hard. It sounds like, I mean, he's got to be a smart kid if you're able to handle both. But... We were talking about college playbooks, right? The NFL playbooks. You know, depending on where you go. I think the team that picks him can't be like, oh, let's pick him just because he's best player available. And a lot of times maybe you do have that strategy, but I feel like if you don't have a plan for that guy, that guy you're just going to waste his career. But if you have a genuine, if he really wants to do it, and you're the team that's like, hey, I think we can make it make it work. Could be interesting. But you run the risk of, I mean, I don't know. This is somewhat unprecedented, but my feeling is that it's like, ah, what if you end up being just a gadget player, you know? You draft someone that high ends up being a gadget player. Yeah, we're in Hermosa Beach. We are, uh, I do frequent Paisanos. It's a good spot for a slice. They, they, do, they have a decent, uh, decent buffalo wings there too. There is Dalen Everett, Georgia corner going to Tristan in the letter D. There is Raheem Sanders, South Carolina to 175, blue mini diamonds. That's going to be for letter R, and that's for Stephen K. Nate Johnson, Vanderbilt, purple shimmer. Uh, there's Baishul Tutin, 005 out of 150. Uh, Nate has letter B. We got Tylek Williams to 275. And that, my friends, is that letter T that's going to be for Jessen. All right, second half in the store, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's about a half hour break, so we do have, we would have we would certainly have uh, some time to run this back. Here's a quick little autograph recap. All right, I think Nate was saying this Pierce guy is a beast off the edge. Yeah, some really solid stuff here. So a chance to chase after some prospects, the future. So check it out, second half in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.